guys welcome back so we're on the last day of uh autumn so we got um a entire winter coming up and uh i wanted to check to see how many logs we've gotten uh so far and we'll take it from there i guess uh we'll probably have to make a trip sooner or later we only have part of the storage filled so i'm not too worried about that at the moment actually um, just wondering if there's anything that we can actually take out of here that might help with the weight. Uh, we have the logs, obviously, but, uh, firewood has dropped a little bit. Um, not entirely a lot, but I think it's seasonal as well. So basically they, uh, use more towards the colder it gets and stuff like that so it would kind of make sense why it's dropping they'll probably pick up again though once um summer comes around they'll probably not um use as much so uh we'll see if this lasts us the winter we have like a hundred so i'm not too worried about it but uh, we'll keep an eye on it we always have extra right here if we need it um as far as anything else i we, we do have to hunt that with slant which is, ironically, uh, I was looking up the uh, wiki page for it, and um, it turns out that it was a endangered species at one point because it was due to hunting, which is interesting. It's a basically a European buffalo. So, all right. So let's see what we can do. Um, I have to remember to empty out the food storage before the season. Um, Obviously not right now, because everyone's still awake, but when it gets darker. Um, let's see here. Did those fish move a little bit? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, hard to tell if the fish move. Those are the pike, right? So, um, hopefully... I don't know if we should uh, make any more buildings. Like, I'm hoping next season there will be some more uh, people that we can hire on for this house. At the moment, we only have one person. He's working in extraction, so over there. But I wouldn't mind having somebody over working in the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The sewing place to automate that part. Uh, we'll see if we can't do that. I'm, I'm just waiting for someone to be like a good production skill level, uh, something like three. Um, as a strong point, so it's taking a little bit longer, but we'll figure out.
right, so I got uh, a decision to make. We can either uh, learn some advice or we could uh, decline the um, the education. So there was a few other things that we could have done, but uh, we don't have the right level. All right, so I'm going to choose that one. If I can choose it, we're going to choose that one. So it only costs 200 coin. Uh, we got 500 experience, which is great. So that will help towards what we need. So it sh Oh, we actually got a level up from that as well. All right. Um, let's see here. I'm going to need this and I'm going to need those and I'm going to need our gloves. Uh, these will help us keep a little bit more warm for sure. So I'll put that there and we'll go ahead and let's see here. What was the other one? The gloves, wasn't it? Yeah. So gloves on there we go we look awesome all right so i want to go ahead and just put these boots back in here we'll use them during the summer next season and uh, we should have pretty good um temperature tolerance we'll see how it lasts um we did get a lot from basically doing that but i'm not sure where it will land or the temperature and stuff but we'll uh see if we can't go hunting um today uh, I want to see if we can't get a was was sent um, those are a little bit harder to kill uh, we do have the bows but um, we lack the arrows but I do know how to kind of protect ourselves I guess against it we can build a fence and um, they it, they seem to not be able to pathfind unless they change that and then in that case we're going to die but <laughs> uh we should probably make some more arrows and stuff like that but i want to see first how the temperature lasts for us so i'm just going to stand out here for a while and we'll see like how we get the temperature accumulation because i i don't want to go too far it's like in the forest over there but we have to go across the bridge and stuff like that because the water is really cold right now. But um, if we can handle the temperature, which it looks like we are able to, then we'll go ahead and we'll go hunting. But I want to make sure that we have um, enough <laughs> enough temperature to balance out the actual ability to go hunting or not. Uh, while we're waiting, though, uh, let's go ahead and go into town. The people should have updated, so we might be able to get somebody in the production.
Alright, so I got um, a bunch of sticks, some hammers, and I got our bow. I don't know if it's equipped. I don't think it is. We'll equip our bow, and our arrows are already equipped. I got more of those arrows, so we can uh, do a little bit more damage than just, um, you know, if we miss a few shots, we'll be able to continue going on it. So, there's that. Um, oddly enough, the, as far as I can tell, the settlement there didn't update. I don't know about this one. I can't tell if it's the same people or not. But, um... As far as I know, it's it hasn't changed for their stats or anything like that, so it's kind of a little bit unfortunate. So we're just going to go along this path, and eventually we'll meet a crossroad, and I'm not sure it's marked on our map yet. But there should be a Wascent uh, roughly around in this area. I uh, can't remember exactly where, I think roughly there-ish. So, we'll head on that direction, and we'll see if we can't, um... Actually, we should probably get a drink of water before we go do this. So we're gonna need to build for a while and stuff like that. Alright, so we got some water. Let's go ahead and... Okay, that's a deer. So we want to go this way. We might even be able to see them a little bit better because it's winter. Just seeing if there's any uh, things that we can pick up along the way as well. You never know. Alright, so it should be in this forest somewhere. If I remember correctly. I'll have to be really careful because... Oh, what have we got there? Got, yeah, there they are. They're right there. Okay, and there's... Um, like some loot that we can possibly get. If we go quickly enough. That axe, I want that axe. Okay, um, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to build right over here, I think. Try to max out as much space as possible. Oh, it's coming this way. Yeah, they're they're territorial, right? So you don't want to like.
Alrighty then, so we got, uh, that was Sant, or Sint, uh, whatever, the, the, the European Buffalo, we got, um, it taken down, uh, it took a while to build the fence, but once I got the fence built, um, I could just hop in the circle, and they can't really jump, so they, they're easy marks, so he just keeps it, because you shoot him, he becomes aggressive, so he comes towards you. And then he gets stuck on the fence, basically. Well, not really stuck, but he keeps trying until the very last moment. And then the last arrow, as soon as it goes in, it's, like, done. So, Anyhow, um, we got that done today. We got... I removed the fence as well, so they will continue to spawn there. And what else did I do? I tended to everyone's... Um, made sure everyone was stocked up on the axes, knives, and stuff like that. Uh... He's gone down one knife, but that's about it. Um, anyhow, if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.